Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. Today we're going to take this nice photo and make it a little more dramatic. On the desktop version I'm doing it with blinds which I'm going to show you how to make yourself and on the iPad version if you look for that tutorial I'm doing it with window panes. So let's get started. So I went to pixels and I typed in man reading. And it doesn't matter what size canvas you have because the size will be determined by the picture. And so I'll drag this picture in. And now if you go to document, clip canvas, the canvas is the exact same size as the picture. So that's, we're all set there. So let's go back to our layers. And we have one picture here. And what I'd like to do first, I think, is to turn it into a black and white. I think it'll be more dramatic that way. So let's do, um, we could do it many ways. We could desaturate it, but I'm just gonna go simple black and white and leave it at that. So that's the basics. It's still a very boring picture, but that's the basics of what we're going to do here. And I wanna make sure that black and white is only on, on the picture. So I'm gonna go down and to the right. And now it's, it's attached only to the picture itself. We're going to go to our rectangle tool and I'm just going to create one long rectangle like so. Let's say about there is good. And I want that rectangle to be not quite white. This is white. I want it to be a little bit less white because when you have blinds, I'm putting blinds in, and when you have blinds, the light does show through some of the blinds. So I just want to put it a little bit less than white there. And then I'm going to duplicate that controller command J. And oh, by the way, that was a mistake. This should not be underneath that picture of the man. So I'm going to drag this right to the top. So there we go. So now I'm going to duplicate this controller command J. And I'm going to take this top part. I'm going to get you a close up. I'm going to take the top part and drag it down just a little bit. Now I'll turn this one white because that's where the light will peek through. So now I'll take these two and group them. And now I'll do, make sure your snapping is on and I'm going to do Control or Command J to duplicate and then I'm going to drag it down. I'll hold my Shift key so it's right there until it snaps in. And now I'll keep doing Control or Command J and you'll see it keeps doing power duplicate. So that should be enough right there. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna group all those. So I'm gonna take the first one, hold shift, and the last one, and I'm going to group it. We need to change the blend mode. So we'll, I'm going to do probably overlay or soft light. I'm not sure which. I'm going to probably start with overlay. And we're gonna change this up a bit because it's really too harsh right now. So what I'll do, First thing I'll do is I'll go to the man and I'll do adjustments and I'll do curves and we want to darken this quite a bit. Let's say maybe I think that's kind of good right there. So let's leave that and then we'll pull out a little bit and now we're going to go to take the blinds now that whole group. And I think the blinds are ready the way they are, so I'm going to actually rasterize them. So it's just one pixel layer. And now I'm going to go to Live Filters and Perspective, if I could find it. There it is, Perspective. So now we got Perspective, and that, what I'll do now is kind of do something to this effect. And believe me, we still have more to go yet. Whoops, undo. To make this look right but we're going to keep working with this and I'm thinking maybe like that would be okay yeah I think that's pretty good now that I got a close-up I'm going to go to live filters and Gaussian blur and let's see what we can do with that we're going to blur this out soften it up a bit and I think that's pretty good about there. All right, now let's take that and maybe mask, add a mask to it, which is down here. 
So right there, I'm going to add a, a mask. And on that mask, I'm going to do a gradient, black to white gradient. So you start on one end and you drag to the other end. So that this end is black and the black hides and the white shows. So if I have this up here like that, and I have this here, it'll start fading out the blinds the closer you get to this end, which is the effect I'm trying to do. And you can adjust here too to see which way you want it to go. So that looks pretty good to me. Let's see where we're at here. Actually, I think this is the blinds. I want it to be a little bit more off the screen, which I think works. So now we want to dress him up again. So let's give it a little bit more interest. So let's take another rectangle and just go over the whole thing. And that's above him. And in that rectangle, we'll snap that into place. And now we're going to also do overlay on that. We could do screen, but let's do overlay for now. And now we're going to go to our gradient tool. And maybe we'll go from bottom angle to top angle right here. And what I'll do here is on the top, I'm going to give it, if I double click it, no, if I click on that and I go to colors, I think I might give it in something in the yellow family. I know it's bright, but give me a second and you'll see the difference. And then in the bottom right here, instead of white, I'll probably do some kind of a blue. And right there. And then what I'll do is I'll bring this down here and bring this up further here. And I don't think I want it to be an overlay. Maybe soft light. That soft light looks much better, I think. And then the last thing I'm going to do is on the blinds, on the face of the blinds, around his arm, they look too straight. I'm going to get a close-up. They look much too straight across from me. So as a last note, now that I know my blinds are in place, I'm going to right-click and rasterize them. So now we have just a pixel layer for the blinds. Now I'm going to go to the liquify persona up on top here and have a fairly large brush. My right bracket's making the brush large. And near his face, I'm going to, to remember, I'm just moving the blinds. I'm just going to up it a little and maybe down here. We can go up or down. Just kind of showing that there's, it's, the light is shining across different ways. And I'll say apply. Just It's just a simple thing, but I think it's important. So... And I think I don't like this end, so what I'll do now is I'm going to crop it. Let's crop this image to maybe here. I think that's a better look. And say apply. So the before is this, and the after is that. So I hope you like this tutorial, and if you do, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.